With Power BI Desktop, it is very easy to make changes to tables and columns in the Query View. To edit a query, click on the Edit Query tab. Many times, sales transactions and credit transactions are kept in two separate tables. We have to append the two queries if we want to be able to model sales. To append a query, click on the query you want to append to, then click on the Append Query button and choose which query to append from. So now we want to choose Credit Transactions and hit OK. Sometimes columns need to be split. You might have a list of names and want to be organized by either first or last name, or you might have a list of cities and states and want to be able to aggregate by both. Here's a list of cities and states. You can split columns by delimiter or by number of characters. Just click on the column and click the split column button. We want to split by comma, which is the preselected option. And just in case there's more than one, we're just going to choose this. Now change the name of the column to a descriptive name. You can also add columns containing modified data from other columns. Currently, you cannot sort a visual by order of days in a week, only alphabetically. You can, however, create a column combining the name of the day and the number of the day in the week to sort days by the correct order. To create the new column, both columns we are pulling data from need to be of the same data type. So first we need to change the number to a text. So click on data type and change it to text. Now we can concatenate the two. To add a column, go to the Add Column tab and click on Add Custom Column. First, rename the column with a descriptive name. Now we enter a formula for the new column. First, we want day and week, which is the number. Click on it and hit Insert. Now I want to add a period and a space. To do this, we need to add text. Text is identified by placing quotes around it. Now we need to add the name of the day of the week. Now I hit OK. Here is the new column. To save our changes and load it into desktop, we need to click on the close and load tab. Now we can see sales by day of week. Thanks for watching.